Hello, this is a comparison between SPI and I2C interfaces to OLED display modules when connected to an Arduino Nano. On the top is the I2C module with the clear USB cable. The SPI module is on the bottom with the black cable. I've reset them both to show performance differences. Two numbers are displayed. The first one is how long it took to draw in milliseconds. The second is simply a count of frames rendered. The frame rate is quite slow on both modules, not enough for video. However, they are relatively easy to set up and get running. These modules run on 5 volts. Be sure you don't need a level shifter to 3.3 volts for your modules if interfacing to a 5 volt controller like an Arduino. Raspberry Pi is native 3.3 volts, for example. Wiring the I2C device is simple. Just four wires. Power, ground, clock, and data. I2C uses SCL and SDA, serial clock, serial data, and I2C devices have 7-bit addresses, so they share a bus with other I2C devices like accelerometers, real-time clocks, or serial memory. Wiring the SPI device is more complicated, and my module uses all 7 wires by default. This particular module can do SPI and I2C, but I cannot modify it. I'll get to that later. The 7 wires are power, ground, clock, in SPI this is SCK, data, in SPI, this is MOSI, or MOSI, Master Out, Slave In. We are only talking to the display module, so we are not using Master In, Slave Out. RES, or Reset, useful to reset the module. DC, or Data Command Bit. I don't know what that is. CS, or Chip Select, goes to SS, or Slave Select, on the Arduino. By and large, SPI is faster than I2C, but it is difficult to share. Let's go through the pros and cons. For SPI, the advantages are that it is fi about 50% faster, uses no analog pins, and leaves I2C alone. The cons are that it uses 7 wires. 5 of them are data lines uh, or digital pins. It is hard to share SPI. I don't know if there's a way... Um, there's only one slave select on Arduino. It's possible, but I haven't tried. For I2C, using just four wires is nice. It leaves SPI alone for things like addressable LEDs or other things. If you use I2C, it's a shared bus, uh, so you don't have to do much. On the other hand, it's slower than the SPI interface and consumes two analog pins, which might be a design consideration. In conclusion, you should probably just get the I2C version. Uh, they're easier to set up, and uh, they're quite fun. Um, also, a big thanks to the folks behind UAGLib, the universal graphics library for 8-bit embedded systems. Finally, the SPI module could be configured for I2C, but I'm not going to do that. It requires reworking surface mount resistors, and I butchered trying to solder to the pins, so there's no way I'm going to configure my modules for I2C. It's much better to buy them configured that way. The end.